This tutorial is going to talk about custom G-code. It's following on from the two lines that I've uh, created in the lines tutorial. So if I wanted to change something, so let's say change temperature in between these two lines, then I could add a line of custom G-code. So if I move this feature down by one and then I'm going to add a custom G-code feature. So then if I wanted to change the temperature, then I can put M109 space S and then this I could just write the value there as S220 and then delete all the rest that would be that would be understood completely fine so if I generate the G code for that this is what the original G code looked like now you can see there's a line of code in there that's saying wait for the extruder to get to temperature 220 it was previously at 210 uh, the other option is if I show you again you can do string value string value string value and this is basically going to concatenate uh, some text and then a number and text and then a number so if I do m109 space s and then put a value here of 220 then I'll delete the rest it will do exactly the same thing but it gives us the power to change that number in the future with a repeat rule so if I generate the G-code for that, you'll see it's got exactly the same thing. It's put our line of G-code there. And we might put whatever we want, you know, notes to say which layer we're on or notes to say that you're switching from a different material with a different tool or something, anything that you want to put in as custom G-code you could put in. Um, but then if I do a Cartesian repeat, I'm going to repeat all three of these features. I'm not going to repeat them in X and Y, but I will repeat them by a height of 0.2 in Z, and I'll do uh, 20 of them. So if I do that, you can see in this G code we have the printing one line, and then moving, printing another line, and then changing the temperature move print one line move so it's doing what we what we expect and each Cartesian repeat has copied that line of custom g-code and you can see these are different colors these lines because they're actually at different speeds so in Repetio host I've changed the um, colors to be defined by speed so now each time with each repeat we're setting m109 s20 but with the repeat rule which are discussed in um, other tutorials as well. We can add a repeat rule which would uh, change generic parameter. And if I do change from that generic parameter to increment, it means it's going to incrementally change that value for every repeat. So now the repeating feature is feature 4, the repeated feature is feature 2, our custom G code feature, and I want to change its parameter for every repeat from the 1st to the 20th um, by increasing parameter number I need to choose which parameter I know because if you remember the custom G code could have a string then a value string then a value string then a value so I want to change this value which is column D so for parameter number column B is 1 that means column C is 2 column D is 3 so parameter number is going to be 3 and the value it's going to increase by with each repeat is 1. So now if I generate the g-code for this, our command to change temperature is now increasing by a value of 1 each repeat. So this would be a way to sort of calibrate when uh, what temperatures are suitable for printing um, or if you wanted to uh, put some notes in that we're changing every layer for example then you could write a um, string that says now printing layer number and then a value of one and then increase that value through this repeat rule for each repeat. So for more details about repeat rules check the specific repeat rules tutorial but this is just the, the one that's specifically relevant for custom g-code.